All right, we, we can hop into our um, kind of like what this weekly segment of our club is. Wait, can you guys see my screen? I can't really see anyone on the screen, but I'm mean, like purple. Yeah, we can, yeah, we can see. see. Sounds good. Brendan, do you want to take us on the way? Sure. Um, so, I'm tech person. If you are not familiar with our means, normally work is a quick segment that we do at the beginning of every meeting where we highlight somebody that embodies Multi's mission of promoting diversity and inclusion in the tech industry. Um, this week, we want to highlight Jasmine Shells. Um, Jasmine co founded a company called Five to Nine, which is an employee engagement platform that helps companies evaluate the impact of their employee engagement programs on their company culture, inclusion, and business. Um, it's a really cool company, and Jasmine is awesome. So yeah, just look forward to really cool people in tech that you haven't heard about. All right, so we have a bunch of events and um, just to like, we're gonna break it down, but they range from just like casual get togethers and hangouts to more technical stuff that like you actually get to learn a lot about um, different aspects of the tech industry and then different speakers and different companies that come. So I'm just gonna let everyone take it away. Hi, um, so we have an event called Breaking the Stigma, which where we do like discussions on diversity led by students, companies, and guest speakers. We have um, we have someone coming later this semester, which I'm really excited about, um, to talk about her experience in the CS industry. Um, we have really raw conversations about like experiences that you or your peers have had, like regarding diversity and inclusion. Yeah. Yeah. So just the goal with this one is that you like have a space on campus where you can like come talk about these things um, in like an environment like that. And tech talks, um, Chloe's actually been in charge of these this semester, but we have amazing tech talks planned. Um, these are just a chance if any of you are looking for co-op or um, are planning on going on co-op at all in, in your Northeastern career. Um, this is a great chance to network. And then it's also a great chance to hear about the company culture and um, get like a firsthand experience of what people at the company experience. And then also um, you could talk to the recruiter, which is how you kind of connect with the company. We'll bring up the ones that are coming soon at the end of the presentation. Um, so level up, those meetings are basically beginner friendly workshops where people will go over how to get started with different kinds of tech stacks like SQL, React, Racket, or Python. And um, actually my first meeting that I went to was a React workshop. So they're super fun and like honestly really beginner friendly and super easy to follow. So definitely recommend them. Code for Cash is another event that like introduces new technologies to people. These are like, you spend part of the meeting learning about a new technology and then you get to like actually use it with a little competition. So last semester I participated in one on SQL, um, which was so much fun. i managed to win a little gift card too, which was also nice. Um, it's fun all around, yeah. Um, Town Hall is a discussion-based event that we host every semester, and it serves as a platform for students to voice their concerns and offer suggestions about core classes, operations, and other things. Um, we take those notes throughout the conversations and carefully compile them afterwards and um, make a list of constructive points that we can deliver to the administration. Um, last semester, I was able to meet with Ben Hescott on one-on-one, -on -one, and he was super receptive to all the concerns that we had. Um, and he raised a lot of them at the next staff meeting, which was awesome. So a lot of our professors found out about the concerns within, I think, 10 days of us raising them, which is pretty cool. Um, Corey genuinely cares about us and is open to our suggestions. So Town Hall is a great way to voice them and let them hear what we have to say. So please come on October 3rd if you're interested. Sorry, I actually wrote the date wrong on that, but it's, uh, I bet it's March. Oh, yes. I should have fixed the date. Thank you. No, it's March uh, 3rd this semester, so keep an eye out for that. It's a really great time to like come um, and like openly talk about it. 
anything that you have about like virtual learning or anything that you feel like you could help your classes improve on um this like this forum is like a great way to bring those up because as Brendan mentioned like he actually like meets with Ben Hescott and like gets to talk about those points that you guys bring up Um, so then our next meeting type is coding 404s. So these are non technical events to hang out and just get to know the other multi members on the e board a bit better. Um, so we have things like trivia nights, game nights, movie viewings. Um, so we actually will be doing those a little bit more frequently this year. So they're going to be every other week. Um, and yeah, they're just a time for you to kind of de stress and take a break from all of the work. I know that we'll uh, all be doing this semester. So yeah, they'll happen at the same time. Um, this like kind of new format is happening at the same time as our normal meetings. So from six to seven, we'll just have a uh, game night every other week. All right, and then also, um, so I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Relay for Life, um, but it's basically like a year long fundraising event for the American Cancer Society. And then it culminates in like a day long um, like celebration or event. Um, so multi is partnering with other clubs to form a relay for life team uh, coders for a cure. So if you guys are interested in joining, um, you can scan that QR code and sign up. Uh, we'll be like sending out more information about this as the date gets a little closer. It's going to be held in, I think, mid March. Um, but just wanted to let you guys know about that. I'm going to leave it up for like a couple seconds just in case anyone else wants to take a picture. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about how to stay updated on all things multi. So um, our best line of communication that we have is through our Slack. And if you're unfamiliar with Slack, it's basically like a channel based messaging platform for groups of people to stay connected on. And we have a bunch of individually themed channels that anyone can join. A lot of them are optional join, but I highly suggest joining some of them, any of them that seem like interesting or of value to you. Some of our more informative channels are announcements and study where you can post about like a certain class or professor and we have opportunities where um, other students will post like volunteer opportunities and co-op opportunities and I also want to highlight in our general channel we've been doing a question of the week that Gigi's been running it's been super fun and we it's like a fun way to get to know each other better and hear fun responses and besides staying updated through these more informational channels we have more fun oriented channels where you can send like memes, recipes, pics of pets, which is my favorite. So if you're not in our Slack, I highly suggest you join. The QR code is here if you wanna scan and join, but it's also linked at the end of the presentation. Some other great ways to stay updated through Multi is through our social media. First off, we have our Instagram and new.multi. Uh, here's one of the social campaigns we did last semester called Meet the Event. We also have a Facebook where you can RSVP to all of our events. So you can add it to your calendar. And in the pre-COVID days, you would post like photo highlights from the club meetings. And we also have a LinkedIn where we post about company sponsored events that you can share to your personal LinkedIn. And yeah, that was a lot of information about social media. So if you missed any of it, all of our social media will be linked at the end of the presentation. Time for everyone's favorite time of like kickoff. Um, it's time for a Kahoot, so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a second and pull up the Kahoot.
Okay, once the game kind of loaded, okay. We'll share my screen. Okay. See the Kahoot and the phone. Also, is the music too loud? I can't really see anyone, so. It's good. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I love the music so much. Okay, if anyone else wants to join. I'm gonna read the questions out loud too. <clears throat> True or false, young women today are 33% more likely to study computer science when compared to women born before Genre is most common on multi Spotify. Oh, most people got it right. This is a good chance for anyone who's not on multi Spotify to hop on that. How can you keep up with multi's events? I think this is a trick. <laughs> that was quick. Okay. Um, Ooh, you have competition, Sadie. In 2018, blank percent of open roles had male only candidates. That was a good guess. Oh, I guess you just went with the biggest number. Overthrown. Which of these is a company multi collaborated with last semester? The correct answer was Intuit. I'm pretty sure I counted all of them correct, but whoever guessed Intuit, you are correct. Oh, the Dante is in the lead.
I just actually discovered James Blake and Frank Ocean from Multi's playlist. So, how many meetings, not including 404s, did Multi have last semester? I don't even think I know. <laughs> I don't think I would guess that. Well, oh, Luis is in the lead. True or false, Multi was founded in fall 2017. I think the fall 2018 and fall 2017 kind of was too similar. Luis is still in the lead. In 2015, um, blank percent of bachelor's degrees in computer science were awarded to women. Ooh, overthrown again. <laughs> What portion, proportion of CS majors were biopic in 2015 to 2015? I feel like that was a pretty even guess. What types of events does multi run? This one's Two more questions. Which of the following is the name of the beginner friendly skills workshop held by Multi? Ooh, nice. And there's one more question left. Which of these companies was ranked number one in Forbes Best Employers for Diversity in 2020? I don't actually think Rumroll for the winner. Oh my God, <laughs> Paige is ranking again. I don't want to say, is it Ken or Kenne? Correct me, however. Oh, it's Kenne. Okay, cool. Congrats, Kenne. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to share my screen one more time, but. Really quickly, just to wrap up. Okay, so I mentioned we would say what events were coming up for the next um, couple few weeks, I guess. Uh, as we mentioned, we're doing a, we're alternating between game nights and regular meetings. So this week we'll kick off, next week is our First game night of the semester, uh, that's February 3rd. And then after that, we have a few company visits. Um, and then Chloe can tell us what those were about. Yeah, so Synopsis is coming on February 10th. They're gonna be talking about like their remote experience, remote internships and how they've been kind of working online. Um, and then Capital One's also coming. 
and they're going to be talking about the different types of like tech roles or tech functions within the banking industry. Yep. So if you, again, as mentioned, if you're, um, this is a great opportunity if you're looking for a co-op to come connect with these companies and then just kind of feel of their companies. Are. Yeah, I know. I saw like a, a synopsis co-op um, job listing um, in your careers today, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yep. What time would it be like the same time from six to seven? Yep. Okay. Six to seven Wednesday. Um, the next the company visits are the February tenth and February twenty fourth. And there's a game night in between, so we hope to see you there. Our first game night will be Jackbox games. We invested in that this semester. So if you've played those, um, any games I've played, Flash, you guys can probably throw out better games you've played. Um, you can't, think. oh, Murder Mystery Trivia, that was really fun. So um, we're probably gonna play some of those games next week um, from six to seven on Wednesday. So if you wanna like relax from classes, that's probably a good idea. And then, um, first of all, thank you guys so much for coming. Um, this is just a short form we hear from you. You can either use the QR code or the bit.ly link. I'm gonna keep it up for a few minutes. Um, feel free to like ask any questions you have, if you have any questions about uh, the presentation uh, or anything about multi in general. Um, just let us know. Feel free to type it in the chat. I'm gonna take a look at the chat now or just like unmute yourself and say it. Yes, all the meetings are Wednesdays from six to seven and alternating between regular meetings and game nights. Thank you. Feel free to stick around as well. We can um, stick around if anyone wants to chat. Good night, everyone. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording at this point. <laughs>